Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex here back again with your weekly fish report. Uh, and we're gonna start with a couple news coming up. Uh, January 25th, we're gonna have a pickerel perch seminar. Uh, a couple of us are gonna talk about hot spots, lures, techniques, pretty much the important stuff you guys wanna know. You know, where to go, how to fish for them, where to go and target them. So all the good stuff. So make sure you come in. It's going to start at 1 p.m. It's going to be myself and a couple other guys talking about, you know, our favorite spots and what to use. So make sure you come in store, uh, check us out. And there's going to be also a couple good uh, sales going on that day for uh, a couple combos and lures. So come in, hang out, talk to us. You know, we're going to talk about all this uh, places and, you know, how to get there and fish them. So make sure you come in and uh, come in at 1 p.m. and let's uh, we'll see you here pretty much. So let's get started with the fishing report. Uh, nothing really crazy going on this week, but for all you guys fishing Beachwood up in the upper Magathy, uh, the bite seems to be on again. Uh, a lot of guys actually came in and reported uh, a lot of white perch. Um, most of the guys are using grass shrimp and small 116, 164 of an ounce jigs. Uh, you know, 132nd, 116 and all of that. Really small jigs. Uh, white black feather jigs have been working perfectly and all you're doing is using a bobber about two to three foot of uh, you know line and then you're putting your little jig uh, one thing I actually like to use is one of those uh, trout magnets uh, and they're reporting a pretty much a mixed bag of everything uh, we've seen pictures of guys uh, catching crappie little baby you know small crappie nothing huge yellow perch white perch bass I mean, you name it, pickerel too. So there's a mix back there. Uh, you know, most of the guys are fishing in the afternoon, and that seems to be the key right now, the afternoon bite up there. So remember that you can use uh, inline spinners like maps and all that stuff for pickerel, uh, but stick to the bobber, slow jig that around the edges there, and you will find yourself catching some of those tasty panfish. Now, besides that, Seven River, haven't heard too much, but I'm pretty sure those yellow perch are up there. Remember, yellow perch don't just start you know don't just show up in the spring uh pretty much since you hit november december january february and then the spawn they're there so make sure you get out there and try that out this weekend's going to be perfect for you guys out there it's going the weather looks perfect it might be a little windy but as long as you stay out there in the shoreline or somewhere where there's you know a uh, nice cover you will be able to find some good fish the water temperature will jump up a little bit and you will get some fish in the morning and in the afternoon so besides that trout fishing you know a couple of the preseason mainly western maryland uh you know areas have been stocked the closest ones here in central maryland it's a patapsco river daniel's uh area and then the lower section uh and one thing i like to show you guys is this uh long micro spoons those are perfect spoons to cast out there and just kind of jig them and reel them in and you'll be able to catch some trout with that along with power bait and the typical you know inline spinners uh, one little trick I like to uh, show you guys for pickerel is pretty unique here. Uh, I like to yeah, actually make like a little teaser rig and I like to put a spoon, this Tony spoon on that size. I believe this is a 13 size and then go up and do a dropper loop on the front section of it about a foot to two foot up and put a little cluster on the t on the front. And uh, you know, you can even go smaller. And a lot of times this will act as a weight and they will actually hit this clouster a lot better. And it allows you to use this on the spinning gear instead of fly, you know, on a fly rod. So that works pretty good. Another thing for you guys, it's uh, the X wraps on the bigger size. If you're trying to actually fish a little bit deeper and catch some bigger uh, rockfish, that will work perfectly for you guys fishing all those creeks. Uh, pretty much um, the Bush River up north has been doing pretty good with yellow perch. Lower Susquehanna with catfish and yellow perch also. The bite's been pretty steady there. Uh, all the ponds on the eastern shore have been doing pretty good for pickerel and bass. Uh, Tuckahoe, Smithbill, all those places. Uh, Unicorn Lake. Um, Tuckahoe Creek's been doing okay with yellow perch and pickerel also. And one thing you can add to your jigs if you're just using feather jigs is a little, uh, you know, scent procure shrimp. Uh, flavor works pretty good. Uh, and we also have bloodworm flavor, so make sure you try those out for that. Rock fishing, most of you guys are running out of Point Lookout going into Virginia waters. Going pretty far south, I mean, uh, we heard good reports out of just Point Lookout there in the mouth of the Potomac. We guys catching and releasing fish between 20 and 30 inches, but nothing crazy. Some guys said kind of adventuring into Virginia waters are catching some of those mid 40s, but they are running pretty much 10, 15, 20 miles into the Virginia water uh, areas, you know, into the bay pretty much. So uh, that's pretty much your fishing report right there. 
uh, come in, you know, show us your reports, call us, tag us on Facebook, and make sure you come in the 25th and, uh, you know, hang, come hang out with us and uh, talk about pickerel and perch. And that's it for your fishing report, guys. You guys have a good one.